What's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about some Heritage Rough Rider accessories. So let's begin. So here's my Heritage Rough Rider. It's in pretty darn good shape. Um, it's about five or six years old. It was given to me as a gift a few months ago by my uncle. And it's really nice. I recently ordered a uh, Heritage Rough Rider for my father. Well, recently, maybe a couple of months ago. Um, for Christmas, actually. And uh, the finish was basically destroyed on that, on that, uh, on that gun. And I had to send it back. It was a brand new gun, and I had to send it back to uh, Taurus to uh, get it refinished. Uh, uh, it's been over two months, and I still haven't gotten it back yet uh, because they were in the middle of a move. So uh, just wanted to let you guys know. Um, so anyway, uh, here's the grips. We're going to be changing the grips, and we're going to be changing the cylinder. And these grips are really nice, nice wood grips. Um, but I figured, you know what, let me dress it up a little bit. So I got me some black pearl grips um, for for uh, for this gun. Also, uh, this is a regular two, uh, 22 long rifle cylinder. But I got the Magnum version of it, so we're going to change out the cylinder. So let's go ahead and take a look at the grips first. So here are the new grips. And let's take them out, see what they look like. They're black pearl, faux of course. <laughs> It'd be nice to have uh, some real black pearl ones. But there they are. Wow, they look really cool. So this is going to look pretty pretty cool on this gun. Alright, there you go. All right, let's take out the cylinder. By the way, uh, there's a screw here for the grips. It comes with its own screw, so there you go. All right, the cylinder. This is the Magnum version. And uh, the difference between the Magnum and the regular is if you notice you got these indentations here well they're missing on this cylinder here on the magnum version all right so um i'm gonna go let's take this off there we go so uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff on, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, there you go. Wow, this looks really, really cool. Got the 22 mag cylinder there, and it turns really good. But it's a tight fit. I mean, you can right there you can barely see right through there but it's not really rubbing or anything so that's good perfect wow these look really cool alright uh, there's one more accessory and it's right here this is the uh, display case or presentation case. Now, this thing has a lot of flaws. First of all, this is plexiglass and it scratches pretty easy. 
this here, I'm not sure if that's a scratch or I, I'm not sure what that is. Let me uh, let me see if I can rub that out real quick. Give me a second. Yeah, I think it's a scratch, unfortunately. Um, also, uh, the foam in here, it's foam covered in velvet. Uh, it's not a perfect fit into the box. So uh, right here is where the uh, cylinder goes. And right there is where the uh, gun goes, obviously. Um, let me show you what I mean when I say not a perfect fit. Okay, I'm going to move the camera a little bit. You see that? See, it's loose in there. Right there, there's gaps all in here, all around. But I paid, it would have been nice if the foam fit exactly to the, to the box. It would have been nice if, um, if it fit really well. But this thing cost me $16. Now there's some presentation boxes I've seen for $100 and $200. Um, so I didn't pay that much. I paid $16. So I'm not too upset upset by it. But um, let me go ahead and put the gun in there and the cylinder and see what it looks like. Let's see here. What did I do with that cylinder? By the way, um, you're not going to get it. I mean, you're going to get the outline cut, and it it will come out. The um, but you see how it's uh, sunken in. You're going to have to uh, cut the back of this so it because before it's flush. You'll see the cutouts, and it's flush. But to get it right, you're going to have to pull this out and then cut. Well, let me just as a matter of fact, let me just show you. Now this is a pretty ugly cut, <laughs> but it works. So uh, nobody's going to see this anyway. But yeah, um, you had to, you had to, it's like um, peeling a potato. Basically, I was doing like this with a knife. I was going like that um, because the cylinder was sticking out uh, when you laid the gun in, inside this case. The cylinder was uh, touching the plexiglass, so I just kept shaving and shaving and shaving. Initially, you're going to actually have to cut this entire thing in half. So this is one half of it. The other half I threw away. Um, but nobody sees this, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But anyway, it does fit now. I can close the case. Uh, now, I have not um, tried the cylinder yet, so I may have to do more cutting for the cylinder, but we're going to see in just one second. So let me put this back right All right, so everything's in place. Let me uh, go ahead and put the cylinder in. This is the 22LR cylinder, and I put that plastic thing here. I'm going to take that off, though. Um, but let's see if it fits. Nope. It's hitting the plug. That's as far as I can close it without it hitting the plexiglass. So let me uh, shave off a little bit more, and then um, we'll put it all together and see what it looks like. All right, there it is. I had to shave off a little bit so the cylinder could fit without hitting the plexiglass, and this is what I took off it. So here we go. Um, again, this was $16, so I'm not complaining. It's not super perfect, but for you know for what it is, it's it's really cool. Um, 16 bucks. I mean, not not bad, not bad. Anyway, let's take a really good look at it. And there it is in its box. Pretty cool. All right, you guys. Take care.